Good morning. Well, this is about as far as I got with the workshop. Just kind of been tinkering, but everything's kind of got to find a place and I've got to get a bit more storage. But like I say, the base is here now. I'm not going to concentrate too much. Over time, I'll just slowly start putting it together. But this is how it's going to work. So this level up here will be like where the workbench is. So this would be like final finishing, assembly, normal day-to-day -day kind of stuff, you know. And downstairs, this is gonna be where all the big machinery lives, the table saw, the big drum sander, spindle molders, stuff like that. It's all gonna live down here. So this is gonna be like the raw processing, big work kind of stuff. Get all prepped down here, send it upstairs. Kind of gonna work like that. This bit is gonna take a while to get together. The machines have all got to be built. We've got to work out all the placement so that the ins and outs all work. We've got enough length and everything. So yeah, it's coming together. It's nice to have things organized. It's nice to have dry spaces and everything together. The big, big question. What's next? Now we're not short of stuff to do here, but here's what's next on the list. Obviously we've done the roof now, there's still a little bit of work to do in there. Finishing off the bracing, rebuilding the wall that kind of the roof goes into. But the next thing is getting the next bit of roof on, well temporary anyway. I've got this bit to finish, which remember I was working on kind of last summer, ended up stopping that so I could concentrate on the roof. But I've still got one more arch to put in and this floor to finish. And that bit's quite important. One, because you know, it adds some of the structural strength back to the chateau, but it means we've got another floor in, which then acts as a roof, which waterproofs another bit of the chateau. I put this floor in the turret not so long ago. There's still one more floor to go in here. And then once that's in, we're kind of at the top of the turret. And the plan with the turret is obviously the point it's super, super complicated. And there's a lot of rebuilding to do to take the weight of that first. But once this next floor's in, we can put a temporary roof on the turret and that gets this part waterproof. So once that bit's waterproof and the turret's waterproof, that's another basically quarter of the chateau waterproof. Just two quarters left to go. Unfortunately, the winch broke halfway through rebuilding the last bit of the roof, which is not ideal. One of the mysteries always was, I knew there was a staircase up here, you can kind of see marks on the walls, but we didn't know how we used to get from down there, up to here, up to there. Till, until, one, a local historian that I've set the task of finding, you know, all the original plans and paperwork that's around the local area, came with the original plans for the turret. Um, these are quite rough plans, they were redrawn kind of around the time of the fire for certain planning permission for work they were going to do but it shows where the staircases were and it all looks a bit messy at the moment but at least it gives us a good idea on what was here and how it can work again in future. Now, all the rest of the plans for all the other floors are on the Patreon account, and I might show you them kind of as we do the areas, but it's super interesting to find out how things really were, rather than just guessing, you know?
you know one thing i didn't really take into account was it really took me by surprise the transition time from one part of the project to another you know getting the roof done was so all encompassing that's all i was thinking about that's all we were planning towards that's all we had materials for it was just roof 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 and the second it was done i was just lost you know i was just like oh, oh and what 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 am i doing now you know so that's why things have been a bit slower lately it's just getting my head into that different gear of moving from the roof and what we're doing next and i know the videos have been a little bit more irregular than they have been before and every time i say see you tomorrow i do really mean it and i do plan to but just the next day stuff gets in the way weather materials planning paperwork having to go to shops having the kids all sorts of stuff gets in the way and kind of hinders that but it will start getting more regular soon now I can release my brain of all that roof stuff and, well, I mean fill it with other roof stuff, but, you know, different, different stuff. Uh, yeah, I've got a super exciting thing I'm doing tomorrow. I'm meeting with one of the survivors from the chateau. So that's what a person that was a child here during the war that was saved by the chateau. He's actually gone on to be super super famous in France his name's Popek um, so I'm going up to Paris to meet him it's all part of the TV thing they've kind of organized it so I'll film a bit while I'm there and I'll kind of film the interview but I don't think I'll be able to show it until a bit later but I'll show you kind of me going there and doing that so I'll have to take a day out for that but it's going to be so interesting to hear accounts of someone that was here at one of the most prominent times of the chateau anyway I'll see you hopefully tomorrow <laughs>